Hey everyone, <laughs> this is Into the Infinite. I'm Charlie and I'm very grateful that you're back and that you're joining me for another video. Oh, I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> the outtakes on these are ridiculous. Uh, maybe I'll put them together in a thing, maybe. But uh, I wanted to make a video uh, very quickly on failure. Uh, <laughs> let me sing it so that it sounds less terrifying. <laughs> Um, that's not a good coping strategy. Don't do that in real life. I mean, sometimes maybe do, but, um, yeah. So, uh, I want to talk a video on failure, uh, not, uh, not to address when we fail, but to address a certain energy around it. Um, so we don't ever, we think of failure in terms of things that we don't do. And when I think about it, I don't think about it as learning experiences or, you know, em embodied shame or bottled up shame or anything along those lines. Um, I really think about it in terms of, especially with putting videos like this out there. Uh, I know that there are some people who are my greatest encouragers, who are fantastic, wonderful human beings. And even my critics are wonderful human beings. So take that. I love you anyway. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about here was the idea, and it's kind of part of hustle culture and I guess like this bro code of success, a little weird, but, uh, you know, taking the the fear and all of the stuff that you have wrapped up in, in what other people will think of you and then like doing your best work from that place and like, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, I'm going to be successful and I have a really intense, but like, that's what you kind of like, <clears throat> just and you put that energy into work that you want to come from here so what ends up happening is you create work that reflects the the crappy emotion and that reflects the crap as opposed to creating something that means something to you from a place that that's important to you you end up creating to prove other people wrong you end up creating to make a point to make a statement and what the heck is the point in that because the point of art and, and, you know, putting things into the world and creating all of those things have to do with you and, and making for the sake of things is great. Making things to make a point is great too. But I thought about this idea of like, make sure you're successful, you know, your success is your best revenge. And I was like, why am I going to take my success that's supposed to be amazing and joyful and operationalize it and like weaponize it to become like a revenge? Like, yikes, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe for some people it works, but I've been finding that there's this energy of it, right? Um, I mean, I mean, a lot of notes thinking about this this morning. <laughs> so it, it's like we operationalize it and we weaponize it to... Um, you know, give us the ego boost or something to, to validate us, to legitimize that we're on the right path. And I find that when we think like this, it's because we're not going within nearly enough. We're not asking ourselves the right questions often enough. And we keep turning outwardly. So it's not just people pleasing when you get into this mentality of like, my success is my greatest revenge. And I'm going to say it in this voice because that's how it sounds in my head. And it, I, if you're in a bad mood, I recommend doing everything for the next 10 minutes in that voice. And it sounds, you, <laughs> yeah, you'll see whether your mood is really worth it. <laughs> so nonetheless, I, I feel like you, who you, what you focus on expands. We know this, this is science. This is mental health. This is all of these things that are, it's almost like pop culture now because it's so, um, a norm in a way. So what you focus on expands. So if you're focusing on your critics, if you're focusing on the worst, again, like the other video, um, I get to make YouTube cards now. So wherever that's going to live, <laughs> I have so many things. Yeah. Anyways, a little bit of a moment there, but when you make things with the explicit intent of proving someone else wrong, all of that energy has to go somewhere, right? So you're, you're taking that energy, you're taking the energy in, and then you're making from that place. So realistically what's the point um and it just it doesn't really do anything for the work that you think it does right because it doesn't get transmuted it doesn't get changed it doesn't get integrated so that energy just stays there and then you end up making from this pissed off place and then you end up putting things into the world from that place and it burns you out it burns you out because there's no fuel you can't live on anger anger is like the corn pops of cereal it's like the frosted flakes 
eventually it'll rot your teeth if you're not doing stuff to integrate and to clear right so when you have those moments maybe use it to fire your to fuel your fire sure but then what are you doing with that afterwards right so what are you doing with that emotion because what you're doing is agreeing that you need to work that hard and you're agreeing that your work does not stand with enough worth on its own so by saying my success is going to be my revenge or that i that that energy ugh, it's just so nasty like it's just ugh, it doesn't feel good um so what you're doing is agreeing with the people who are criticizing you by saying yeah you know what i really do need to prove to you so i'm going to make the next set of things that I do so profoundly wrapped up in what you think of me that I'm going to prove you wrong every step of the way. Mm, don't do it. Why? Why? Joy is available to you. Peace is available to you. And I can guarantee you that there are more supporters and more people waiting to cheer you on than, than you think there are wanting to throw egg on your face. I don't, yeah. Yeah, I think about bad performances and like in cartoons where they throw like eggs, tomatoes, all that stuff. Like at the end, if it's really bad. So that's the place that I'm talking about. That's that feeling shame, right? Why? Why make from that place when something else is so readily available to you? Um, and, and what you focus on is not just about what expands. What you focus on is also an indication of the investment that you're making in yourself at any given moment. I talk a lot with my hands, so let just we'll roll with it. But it, it really is an indication of that. So if you're focusing on what they say more than what you are creating and, and, for, and your voice here, your voice, what you're doing is saying that I'm investing more in what other people think of me than I am in my own authenticity. And it's hard to stand in that place of authenticity and to say, I'm making this, I am putting this into the world and I'm so happy. Whether or not it means anything to anybody, I'm just so grateful that I can do this. If you're invested in what other people are thinking of you, uh, it kind of constricts your creativity because you're limited to making things that prove them wrong. So how can you innovate? How can and innovate like not as in, you know, we're going to go deep into capitalism and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm talking about innovating in terms of making new things for you. You know, when I would write music a lot there, I, I'm not good. At, there we go. When I would write music a lot, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't think about what people would say after the fact. I just let it flow through me. You know, I never learned how to read music. I taught myself how to play guitar and I would teach, I would play shows when I was in undergrad at Brock and um, it, it was actually a lot of fun. But the point wasn't to make songs that people would sing, which a couple of people started singing the lyrics back to me because they liked it. And that was, you know, such a validation that you can't make from a place that's constricted because you're going to make stuff that doesn't resonate with you and then in the end you're going to expend so much energy and focus on how you're not just worth it and how you're not worthy and the one thing that I've learned many times especially in my 20s and you know more so now just like a highlight right um just like highlighting the point and as though spirit is like mm, that's that's true that's very true uh is the fact that if people really, if, if they're, you know, if your work isn't good in a way that people want you to improve upon, they will give you feedback in a way that doesn't make you feel like you need to go get revenge, like success as revenge, right? It will be healthy. It will be constructive. It will not be that sucks or, you know, this is that it won't be coming at you. It will be given to you. It's a gift that someone gives you. Feedback is a gift, right? So it's going to land like that. It's not going to be that someone's like sneaking in and like taking stuff from you. No, 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 no. So just remember those things when you're making, uh, because I was terrified for a very long time with this channel and with my blog and everything. Oh, if I, you know, and another, so, um, someone that I watch on YouTube and like who I have come to quite enjoy, uh, and adore has put it such that, um, if you're small, then you're not a target. And I, I don't know about how you grew up, but I grew up in, in, you know, with it reiterated that to be too big is to be a problem, right? Um, make sure that you're small enough that people know that you're, you're able to carry everyone's needs and be everything to everyone, right? You're not bread. 
you're not bread. <laughs> you're not bread. You're not meant to go with everything. And you're not meant to be that versatile. Um, versatility is a good thing, but like bread, really, you can do better than that. You can do better than bread. Um, so with all of that being said, I just wanted to offer this to you as a thought uh, and a lengthy thought at that of just over 10 minutes. But I think it's really important when we're talking about creativity uh, and making things from your heart and really being able to hear what's going on in it um, to let things flow. So um, your success is not revenge. Your success is something that's so <laughs> that's you, that you desire your and you desire, but that you're so worth it's it's worth coming to you. Um, and so just let that happen for, because you're, you're, you deserve it. Not because you're trying to prove someone wrong. So yeah, your work is awesome because of itself and you making it. Let that be enough and know that you're enough at the same time. So failure, this is, this was on failure, but maybe I need to title it more about a surrender or something along those lines because it feels more apt but still, thank you so much for joining me again for another video on creativity on Into the Infinite. And I am so excited that you joined me here. And I can't thank you enough for coming. So I will see you on the next video. Have a great one. <laughs>